What's going on guys and welcome to another reputized video. Halloween was directed by Rob Zombie as it is the remake to the 1978 classic. Came out in 2007 and stars Malcolm McDowell, Scout Taylor Compton, Danielle Harris, that's right, I said Danielle Harris, Brad Dorff, and many others. This one, like the original, it follows Michael Myers escaping from Smith Grove Sanitarium after 15 years. The only difference with this is because it was a remake, Rob Zombie wanted to put more of a backstory to Michael, and I actually like that. The characters, they were a little annoying. I, I didn't really find them that interesting, especially Scout Taylor Compton's character. She played Lori like she was a little spoiled brat. Nothing, nothing like Jamie Lee Curtis's character. And McDowell's portrayal as Loomis, it wasn't as convincing enough to me. He did a good job for his own, you know, this is a remake and everybody is doing their own thing. Not everything can be compared to the original. Yes, I get that. But after a great man like Donald Pleasance playing a character like that and it just sticks with you, of course you're going to feel that way. I just, I just didn't feel Malcolm McDowell lived up to expectations for that character. The direction and writing and everything was, like I said, pretty interesting. I liked how they gave Michael more of a backstory. It kind of made him more human, more than any of the original movies. Now, I know to some people that's a letdown because... The shape is the shape, and without a backstory, it's more scarier. Yeah, I get that, but I, I still actually like having things explained. Aren't you that curious on, like, uh, say, who Freddy was before he became the nightmarish demon that we all know and love? And wouldn't you like to find out who Jason actually was before he drowned at that tender age of 11? It's, it's just those little things that I find interesting. I like to actually find out who the person was before they became all these icons. And that's what this movie did to me. They, they, they humanized Michael in a way because it shows him as a kid. No, no offense to John Carpenter's original. I'm always going to put that on the top of the list for me. But it, just do, it doesn't just show Michael go up to his sister and stab her. It shows more than that. And that's what this movie does. The editing was decent. I mean, it was okay, but this movie has its faults. But again, I'll, I'll get to those later. It's something that reviewers would would mention in their videos all the time, especially Chris Stokeman. The music by Tyler Bates, it's, which is who scores this, it, he did a good job. Of course, the famous Halloween theme was in this. I liked it for what it was. And the pros. Like I said, it shows more of Michael's backstory before he became insane. The way they played it off, he would black out. He wouldn't even realize he was killing anybody. Because at the beginning of the movie, he clearly states, I didn't do that. Apparently, Michael blacked out and then he kills. Until like he blacks out for the final time. And by the time the end of the second act happened, he blacks out for good. So that, that's what I got out of it. So I thought that was pretty interesting. It wasn't this cult crap. It wasn't this. It wasn't that. It was his own mind. And like they say, sometimes you are a victim of your own mind. And that's what Michael was, unfortunately. And Tyler Maine as Michael Myers, that was a perfect casting choice. Rob Zombie did a really good job at casting Michael. Tyler Maine, he's like, I think I heard like 7'3 or 7'4, somewhere around there. Really tall man. You look at that door right there. And if he was to come in here, he would have to duck his head. That's how tall he is. So I thought that was a perfect casting choice for Michael Myers in this. The kid they chose to play the young Michael Myers in this, I thought he did a pretty good job. And the cons, like I said, I didn't find Taylor Compton's character the least bit interesting. She just had that whiny physique about her, and it's just, it, it annoyed me. There was too much shaky camera. I mean, every time Michael would kill... It would do this all the time. So yeah, that was a bit of a problem for me. I got a little motion sickness, but not too much to throw up. But you can't have too much shaky camera in what you're filming because first of all, you got to know what's going on. And there's too much close-up shots. So it's like, come on, y'all. Do the wide-angle shots like they did in the others. 
even though this is a remake, make it interesting. And having it shaky camera and close-up shots and everything, it doesn't do nothing for me. So, yeah, that was a little bit of a poor choice of filmmaking. My final thoughts on this, it could have been better. Rob Zombie, he's an okay director. I like him better as a rocker. Just like how I said about Buster Rhymes, how I liked him more as a rapper than an actor. I'm giving Rob Zombie's Halloween a C-. Thank you so much guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below. What did you think of Rob Zombie's version? And stay tuned for my review of Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 coming soon. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share this video. Peace or about.